This is Off The Wood. This is Jake Duncan. And uh, cheers, mate. Let's talk some shit. Yeah. All right. There we go. Mm. Ah. I love that glass clink. The plastic glass clink. That's yeah, great. it's good. It's the Bendigo Hotel look after us pretty well here in, um, in Collingwood. Yep. Let's get the basics out of the way. Where were you born? I was born at Tweed Heads. That's near Byron, right? Yeah, that is. You were known as a, dude, a kid from Byron, right? Yeah, so I, I was born in Tweed, moved to Chugan for like the first three or four years of my life, and then in Byron, Brunswick, Byron. Right, and where did you start skateboarding? Where were you when you started? <coughs> Brunswick Heads. Okay. Which is like 20 minutes north from Byron. So, oh, okay, so Byron. Back, yeah, yeah, basically Byron. Byron. Yeah, yeah. jumping back and forth. No one knew where Brunswick was. No one knows. So, how old were you when you started skateboarding? I would say like eight or nine. And how did you start skateboarding? Like, um, my my mum's my mum's friend's child. Like obviously, I hung out with him. Yeah. Like his dad. Family skated. friends. Sort Family of friends. Like, yeah. yeah. Like he skated, and I just thought he was the coolest dad ever. That kind of thing. You know, like this yeah. little kid, just like oh, he skates and his kid skating out a little ramp, and then yeah, then just got into it with him using his board, and then just. Got one. Dad bought me a Delta for Delta Delta Force. I think it was just called Delta. It was like a it was like a rip off of Power. And they made those cheap completes. <laughs> right. So you were terrorising Byron on a Delta Brunswick. De, oh, Brunswick Heads, yeah. which is near Byron. Yeah. All right. We got <laughs> um, so when did you first get good at skateboarding enough for someone to notice and get like your first sponsor? What was yes, your first sponsor? Was, uh, my first sponsor was Electric Sunglasses. Really? Actually, oh, Rec, Rec Surf Shop in Byron Bay. Okay, so it was a shop. By Nick Bishop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I can't remember this guy's name, but because Pete and John from Electric, they all are from Byron. Yeah, yeah. Lived there. They, I just started getting free sunnies, and then, it wasn't, it wasn't anything, it was just a couple sunnies here Easy and there. So it was, yeah. it was Put like the first the legit sponsor would have been SMP and Corel. Corel, yeah. But I think... I remember that. Frex. Um, yeah, Corel, dude. Yeah, Corel's a good one. Um, so SMP, and we started doing trips pretty quickly. So you were about pretty 12 much. when we started traveling, right? Yeah, t- 12, 12, I think I was when you guys came and picked me up from Byron. Yeah. And took me to that. Um, was Kobe. Kobe. Yeah, yeah, Kobe. And Dad came along in that. Um, yeah, I think I was about 12 then. So yeah. Like, yeah, that was probably the first time when I started skating, skating. Okay. So we took you on tour and it was like what, on tour on the road to Queensland and um, from you, Byron, which is from a forty-five Byron. minute drive. Exactly. We drove all the way from Sydney, <laughs> which to seemed take you forty-five. Which minutes. seemed like a three-week trip yeah. to me. It was like a weekend. <laughs> Didn't we get to the sunny coast that day, that weekend? Though? Maybe. I don't know. It's a fucking blur. A long time ago. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the first trip. And then I remember you came to Sydney and we did a couple of things and basically, like you were sort of all of a sudden you were getting out of Byron. Yeah, yeah. Well. There? What happened is I moved out of Byron because dad, dad's work, he's a tyler, so he moved to the Gold, yeah we moved to the Gold Coast first and that's when I was, I got put in band class at a new school, I came from Byron, no no uniform, no nothing, Yeah. to a, to a band class, I don't play a bloody instrument, no. and then just that was just... What were you doing? Thing. I would just sit there, when they were off band practice, I would just sit and do work and <laughs> Just sit in a uniform and and they wanted me to wear a tie and shit and I was just like I'm not and dad dad was just like alright you can go to school work for me or you can work for me and skate and I was like work for you and skate I was like work for you and skate and that lasted about two weeks of grouting and I was yeah. fucking out smoking bogs of pissy <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so literally <laughs> literally growing up in Queensland who was the older guys that sort of showed you the ropes around that way well when I when I first got there I was, um, my dad was friends with, uh, because he plays a lot of soccer, a lot of the Italian soccer clubs up yeah, there, yeah. so, anyway, a friend of a friend owned a skate shop called Kamikaze, which was right at where the old Globe store is on the Gold Coast Highway uh, in Mermaid, and I uh, just started skate with him, which was like Timmy Burdett, and then ended up like meeting like Clem Bond and, and oh, Sam okay. Steele, so that was my kind of, and then, uh, once I started actually skating like all the time with everyone was like Shane Cross and Yeah. Because he went to like a private school, he was kind of like mm. very to himself and like well not a private school but like a Christian school. So like he was it was funny because we had all these different crews 
but we'd all heard of each other. Yeah, like right. Joe P's. I didn't. He was like one of Shane's. He was Shane's best friend. But I thought I was Shane's best friend. This is when I was like fourteen. I was yeah, like, yeah. But I'd never met this Joe P's. Yeah, right. Joe had never met me. He was just this figure. <laughs> this and he Nolly like Nolly Hill flip nicely. This fifteen stair hover. It was just like a little foot foot yeah, yeah, yeah. But and it curved around. It was this famous. You know, back in the day, yeah. spot like it was a fifteen stair. Every stair was this long, so it was like a long, low ledge. And how old were you when this was happening? Like about four. Oh, I was fourteen. Like, yeah, I was yeah. Been, just moved out of Bayern, so thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. And then I met Shane at a skate contest. I've been hearing about. It, I was like uh, hearing about this Shane Cross, like you said, it's yeah, just yeah. like a <clears throat> comp kid. And it was basically just a uh, cement half pipe. It's in Labrador. Cement half pipe. With two like uh, like fly Flat out bank. banks things, yeah, yeah. you know, so you can fly it and oh, yeah, into it. Yeah. Back, yeah, yeah. And then, then a wo- and then a wooden water part at the top with no railings on the flat bottom. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> anyway, so I was coming first, and we were like, yeah, I was like Jody Blash, and Shane was there with his swoosher pants on and oh, yeah. like, like full smacky dax. Yeah, yeah. Um, concrete style. I don't know if you ever heard of that shop in Goldie. Um, yeah. yeah, and he uh. I, Last trick, I did melon grab over the flat, like fatty to flatty over the quarter pipe. Yeah. His run was next, he beat me. Benny Hanna. Oh. Did a Benny Hanna over the over <laughs> my melon and bloody took the contest out. Yeah, he did it so I hated <laughs> so I hated him, but we went out street skating after that and then just that was it. So you were a bit of a comp kid back in the day, because yeah. that was sort of how you got noticed. But you didn't get pigeonholed as the comp kid, which is kind of cool. Like why do you think older dudes actually gave a shit about you? Because I drank them all under the table. Yeah, I don't know under the table. Well, <laughs> well, I gave it a go. Yeah, yeah, you did give it a go, even though I tried to stop you a few yeah. times. But like, no, everyone tried to stop me. I think that's just what I, my personality is. If you try to stop me, I'm just kidding. But people took you <laughs> under their wing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I had you as a, I was your team manager. Yeah. I took you under the wing. Gorle, you know, had you Gourlay, on the, the globe side of things. I mean, you had even Bill when you got on blind and everything. Like, all Curry. these guys looked after you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we did a criminal thing, and it was yeah. like me, Kaza, Fish. Everyone was sort of looking after you. But um, a lot of other kids really didn't get that sort of. I think I think a lot like uh, criminal days and like SNP and criminal day because well, Curry got on the SNP. Yeah. But like yeah, criminal days was definitely a big like <clears throat> mature kind of. I don't know, take just those trips to Canberra all the time. Yeah, and yeah. Just hanging out with like Fowler. And just missions. Yeah, as well, just, yeah like. just and just hanging out, just like like we will torture you. If you fuck up. (laughs) So that is the plan. Yeah. Sheckler was in his next room with his mother and lived with his mother. And me, Jimmy, Askford, and the rest of the piles were getting drunk and smoking (laughs) weed together. Yeah. And James was just like, "We need you on blind. We need." And Corey's the same. Was just like, "We need you on blind." I'm like, "Yeah, let's do this, man."